Hello everyone and welcome back to our dental materials journey. In our previous videos, we've explored thermal properties and adhesion in dentistry, understanding how temperature and bonding affect our work. Today, we're delving into another crucial aspect, chemical properties in dentistry. Just like thermal and adhesive properties, chemical stability is a key factor in determining the durability of materials used in the mouth. Dentin materials should stand the test of time, resisting dissolution, erosion, corrosion, and preventing harmful constituents from leaching into the oral fluids. So what are solubility and erosion? Solubility is all about how much a material dissolves in a given fluid like water or saliva. Erosion, on the other hand, combines the chemical process of dissolution with a mild mechanical action. In general material science, erosion usually implies damage caused by a particle's impingement. In dentistry, it describes the degradation of respirative materials by a combination of chemical and mild mechanical action, often initiated by acids found in food and drinks. These properties are incredibly important for all restorative materials because excessive solubility or low resistance to erosion can significantly reduce the lifespan of dental restorations. Now, when we evaluate the solubility or erosion rate of materials, we need to consider the wide range of conditions inside the mouth. The pH of oral fluids can vary from mildly acidic to mildly alkaline, depending on what you consume. Materials should remain stable across the spectrum. Traditional solubility tests sometimes fall short of simulating what happens in the mouth, but new testing methods such as dripping acidic solutions onto the material surfaces offer more accurate insights accounting for mildly abrasive nature of the oral fluids. Another concern is leaching. Some materials absorb water and leach their constituents into the oral fluids, which can change the material's properties or introduce toxic or irritating elements into the oral cavity. In some cases, controlled leaching can benefit patients. For example, certain cements leach calcium hydroxide creating an antibacterial and denting simulating environment. However, the leaching process should not harm the material itself or the oral cavity. Moving on to corrosion, um, it is a term often used to describe the chemical reactivity of metals and alloys. In dentistry, the materials used uh, must be highly corrosion resistant. The propensity of metal to corrode depends on its electrode potential. Highly negative electrode potential values indicate higher reactivity. And believe it or not, some seemingly reactive metals are included in alloys to enhance corrosion resistance. For example, chromium is actively reactive, but it forms a protective layer of chromium oxide acting as a shield to prevent further corrosion, a phenomenon known as the passivating effect. Stress and surface roughness can accelerate corrosion. Um, excessive bending or pits in rough surfaces can trigger localized corrosion cells, requiring a careful design of dental appliances and restorations. Consequences of corrosion in dentistry can range from discomfort due to the flow of galvanic currents to metallic taste and even deterioration in appearance, among other effects. An understanding of electrolytic corrosion can help design dental restorations that minimize contact between dissimilar materials and reduce the risk of corrosion-related problems. According to ISO standards, Corrosion is determined by immersing specimens in specific solutions. Tarnish is evaluated using cyclic immersion tests, measuring discoloration caused by interaction with metallic sulfides, 
Historically, experts have debated suitable corrosion test methods. However, ISO now offers uh, methods for assessing corrosion and tarnish. This could impact the testing and development of dental alloys. So that's the world of chemical properties in dentistry. Just like in our previous discussions on thermal and adhesive properties, understanding the chemical behavior of materials is crucial for durable and safe dental work. Thank you for joining us today and don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more exciting insights into the realm of dental materials. Until next time, Dr. Shake signing off. Take care till we meet again.